Kansas. He plays with the band Signal Ridge and they came up to my house for the weekend and we picked on tunes for days in a row. We had a lot of fun and he writes a lot of tunes and this one that he wrote down in the coal mine here, we're working out of D position, just had a lot of that mean bluegrass sound um, that it's just a lot of fun to play, you know what I mean? It's got some attitude to it and so I thought I'd take uh, his song and create a lesson slash solo study piece for the key of D um, and so I wrote everything up for the verse and the chorus and we're going to be using a lot of D minor pentatonic a little bit of just D minor but a lot of D minor pentatonic moves and again a lot of things you're going to hear kind of in that bluegrass attitude working out of this position right and we're also going to drop the D as well to really fill things out and uh, yeah you know what I mean that just that sounds mean right it's got that attitude so we're gonna check out all that stuff dive into this solo if you'd like to check out the band Signal Ridge you can click another link down there um, you can learn about the band bluegrass old time stuff great great band a lot of great harmonies so anyway if you want to check out accessing this lesson and learn the solos and learn this D minor pentatonic stuff there's a link down there. It'll shoot you on to my website and uh, learn about being a premier member for a monthly, quarterly, or yearly fee. And uh, you can access this lesson over 350 videos at my site, all three of my courses, and a video exchange program as well. This lesson has come with about 35 to 40 minutes of video, downloadable PDF tabs, and three audio backing tracks. All right. So yeah, when you're ready, we're going to start walking through the first few measures here down the coal mine, start getting that mean bluegrass attitude uh, that we're looking for on the acoustic guitar. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking down here, down in the coal mine. We're in the key of D, and uh, I guess, you know, not necessarily in the key, major or, or minor, um, we're kind of in this D5. I don't have, I'm not um, playing the third of the chord, so I'm leaving the high E open here. A lot of people refer this to as D5 sometimes, and uh, while the melody notes and the solo notes will um, have certainly a minor effect to it, or minor sound, um, the, the key of the tune is not, again, we're just in D, we're not, but it's not really major nor minor. Um, it's kind of an intermediate to advanced kind of thing, but just so you know, um, in the key of D, uh, the notes will be minor and uh, markings below the staff are pick directions uh, staples are downs the V's are up and um, for this this first few measures here the first eight measures I have a little intro um, before we get into the solo and this is something that you can do anytime it's just kind of vamping on the D chord and it's a really cool thing um, that you can do again anytime you're in the key of D also I do have the low E tuned down to a D so you can get your tuner out and you can either tune it down to a D that way or you can match it with your middle string D, but I am in drop D tuning as well, okay? So yeah, a lot of things going on for this lesson, but there's a, some really cool stuff as well. So here's those first four measures that are up on the screen there for you. Let's take that and start breaking it down here. The starts on beat three and uh, let me play it for you. So one, two... So 
again, starting on beat three, zero, three hammer on on the A string. I'm gonna use my second finger. I'm gonna leave these two guys in place. First and second finger are gonna be just like they would for a D chord. And then the third, um, let's just say the first and the, yeah, first and third. The second finger is gonna grab the note on the A string. And then I'm gonna strum. Okay, those middle three, D string, G string, second fret, B string, third fret. And if you catch the high E, I have it written in there, that's just fine too. Kind of has a D9 sound. Um, I, I try to focus my strumming to these middle three, but that catching that open high E is just fine either, but I'm not going to finger that, of course, but. Okay, that's the first bit. Then the next measure, play open D. And here's the strumming pattern I want you to make sure you get really comfortable uh, with it because we're going to be using it throughout the piece and it's just a really common strumming pattern in general. And you see there's a, you know, there's some notes in parentheses that means we're tying over to those notes. And um, so the strum pattern looks like this. It's down, down, up, down, up. So one, two, three, and four. And so no, uh, we're not playing anything on beat three. Um, again, that's being tied over to three and four. Keep the right hand moving no matter what. Two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, that's the strumming pattern. We're going to be using that a lot in the intro and kind of throughout the whole piece. So, and then the next measure, I'm going to play that open D again. Strum, and then a zero three hammer on the A. Strum, and this time we're gonna land on the A note, or the open A, and do that strumming pattern. So all four of those, two, three, four, one, two. There's the first four bars of the vamp. Let's do the next four bars, which is going to be very similar, just a little bit different. So measure five is an open A, strum, zero three hammer on the A, strum, and then open D. And here's our strumming pattern. Almost put my second finger down there. Don't want to do that. Measure seven, open D, strum, and then zero three hammer on the low string. Now the low D string, right? And then the next measure, this low string, the low D. Now I gotta call it the low D, even though we're used to saying the low E string, right? The low D string, and then strum. So we kind of build up to that lowest sounding D string. That sounds nice, right? And that's the intro. Um, again, you can do this with any piece in the key of D and you kind of want to give it a nice little minor sound, dark, mean, scary, spooky, you know, it has a lot. I can, a lot of description words for this, again, just this little intro. Let me play the whole thing, the, the intro, all eight bars of it. So, one, two, three, four, one, two. So you can do that on and on as much as you like, and it really sets the mood, is what it does um, for for the tune and and for you know. Um, 
yeah, the mood, I guess. It sets the mood. All right, so let's go on to the verse now. Uh, let's move forward, measures 9, 10, 11, and 12, where the solo kind of starts. So uh, let me play those first four measures. One, two, three, four. syncopation again throughout this whole piece um, we're going to see it over and over it's certainly an intermediate to advanced thing and um, so measure nine i'm going to play that low string it's going to be kind of you can um, it's the start of everything it's kind of ending from the vamp right and then here comes all the eighth notes so open a third fret a open d third fret d open g first fret g and then hammer it a two. So very minor pentatonic sounding here. And hammer it a second fret. And then one, two, hammer again. And then open D. Back to second fret G. So there's a bunch of upstrokes in here. You really want to be careful. Right? Up. 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 So syncopation. Then I'm going to strum the D, G, and the B. I have it fingered just as so, second finger and the third finger. Four. And then now you see measure 10, you know, when I strum the beat four in measure 10, it's tied over to beat one in measure 11. So we're not gonna play the downbeat, right? It's gonna be syncopated. So we're gonna kinda come in, we are gonna come in on the upbeat and that gives a little bit more of the drive. We're gonna be doing, again, we're gonna be doing a lot of that throughout this piece. And one, and two, and three, and. So, coming from measure 10. Open A, hammer third fret, open D, second fret D, hammer three, open G, first fret G, hammer to second fret, open G, three, four, slide on the D, open D, then a strum. And that's gonna tie over again just as we did before here in this line, it's gonna tie over to the downbeat of measure 13. So again, if you have troubles, you know, listen to the audio practice tracks and play along with that or count it out. Know where the beats are at and really count as you play. Um, so measure 10, 11, so. pentatonic stuff with a little bit of a, a tinge of um, get the flatted five in there a lot that gives it some more of the mean qualities and then the th uh, F to F sharp flatted three to, to three um, also give it um, just the pentatonic sound Play that whole line for you. So measure 9, 10, 11, 12. 2, 3, 4. 